Yes, ma'am. Are the grand jury people picked from the same list? They are. They are picked from the same same master jury list. All of our juries come from the same master jury list, whatever the case may be. Uh, the only people allowed in the grand jury during their proceedings are the jurors themselves, um, the prosecutor, the deputy prosecutor, and we are, we work for the grand jury. If the grand jury says, we want to hear from such and such person, it's our job to go out and find that person, serve them with a subpoena, and get them in front of the grand jury. So the grand jury <coughs> really drive their own ship. We have used them on some occasions here in Idaho for particularly challenging cases, particularly problematic cases, but we don't use them routinely. Ray. Um, tell them about what happens when the person is accused of the crime is called as a witness uh, in the grand jury. Oh, good point. Uh, if the suspect of the crime is called in front of the grand jury, a couple things have to happen. First, they have to be given a special warning saying, you are a suspect, and you have the right to remain silent, you have the right to an attorney. You do not have the right to an attorney in the grand jury room, though. And we have encountered this situation before where we'll have somebody who has an attorney, which is clearly their right, but the law doesn't allow the attorney to come into the grand jury room. So. We, the grand jurors or, or the prosecutor will ask the person a question. The person will say, I'd like to consult with my lawyer. So we'll take a break. The person goes out in the hallway, talks to their lawyer about the question, and comes back in and answers however he or she's going to answer. I, I've been in the hallway a time or two. <laughs> <laughs> and it, it's, it's, um, it's boring work out there until the, until the uh, client actually comes out. But that's good points. Uh, that's part of the privacy, the secrecy of the grand jury. Even uh, attorneys for witnesses are not allowed in the grand jury proceedings. Yes. So how is, how is the grand jury um, private if, the, if that person can be in the room, the accused? Well, that person isn't going to be in the room when other witnesses testify, only when they testify. But they'll see who is in the grand jury. They'll see who's on the grand jury, yes, but they won't see who the, who the other witnesses are. Okay. Any other questions on grand juries? Uh, we also in Idaho have coroner's inquest juries. Uh, these do not happen very frequently either, uh, but the county coroner, our county coroner is Kathy Mabbitt, has the legal ability to summons a, a jury uh, to conduct inquests. It will be six jurors, they have to have a unanimous verdict, and the purpose of the coroner's jury is to investigate and determine the identity of the person who is dead, uh, when, where, and how the, the death came about, and if the coroner's uh, jury determines that the death appears to be by reason of criminal means to identify the person they believe uh, is responsible. And if they issue a verdict like that, then it is referred to our office to institute criminal proceedings against the person who the coroner's jury uh, identifies. How often does the coroner know who is guilty? Well, in our county, I don't think we've ever had a coroner's jury, so I don't really know first Because <laughs> that's like, I mean, you know, they, there's a dead person and there's some well, criminal out Well, and they investigate and they use law enforcement oh, okay. to investigate the circumstances. So it's not at the moment. It's no, no, no. <coughs> they call witnesses, they'll have witnesses, the investigating officers, family members, medical professionals, whoever conducted the autopsy, for example, uh, all of those things, so that they have information to make their decisions. <coughs> Do they determine who's guilty or, who's guilty or just a suspect? Well, the statute says they determine who's guilty, but what that really means is they determine the suspect, and then it's up to the criminal uh, prosecution system to actually prosecute a case through conviction, and that would be with a full jury, a unanimous verdict, and proof beyond a reasonable doubt. Uh, for a coroner's inquest jury, it's just going to be more likely than not. The, the traditional scales of justice, if they tip ever so slightly one direction, that's a preponderance of the evidence as opposed to beyond reasonable doubt, is that scales have to tip completely and bottom out on one side. Does the coroner do the um, autopsy? Coroners generally don't do the autopsies. Coroners are generally present at the autopsy, but they uh, normally bring in a pathologist. Um, a medical doctor to do that. I assume if we had a coroner who was a medical doctor and he or she wanted to do a autopsy, they could. But she's a nurse. Kathy are, are, uh, is a registered nurse. She, she's not a, um, a physician. Was it Dan Schmidt? Dan Schmidt, uh, yes, was our coroner for a number of years, although I think he stayed away from doing his own autopsies. He brought in pathologists because they specialize in determining cause of death uh, in examining a body that's already dead. Disqualifications. 
These are the things that our law says will disqualify a person from <coughs> serving on a jury, whether it's a civil jury, a criminal jury, a grand jury, a coroner's jury. Uh, if the person can't read, speak, and understand the English language. I always like this because the judge, when they bring the jury panel in, said, can any of you not read, speak, or understand the English language? And of course, if they can, whether they are <laughs> uh, That's the question that gets asked. Um, and Ray's been there many times as well, and here's that's one of the first questions out of the judge's mouth. Um, if they have uh, a disability which uh, makes them incapable of doing a satisfactory service. This requires a physician certificate. We mentioned before, if they aren't a United States citizen, if they aren't at least 18 years of age, if they are not a resident of Latah County, if they have a felony conviction and their civil rights have not been restored. And I can tell you in Idaho, with the exception of murder and treason, uh, a person's civil rights are restored automatically when they complete a felony sentence. So even in even if you have a felony conviction here in Idaho, in most situations, your civil rights are restored once you complete your sentence, whether you complete probation <coughs> or serving time in prison. The uh, prosecutor will never let you stay on the jury. Well, <laughs> not. That's right. As Ray said, the prosecutors generally don't favor convicted felons on juries. They might not be favorable to the state's perspective on the case. Um, then the court always has the discretion to decide that um, this jury service would have constituted undue hardship or extreme inconvenience uh, or something like that. The statute in Iowa does specifically uh, excuse breastfeeding mothers. I don't know why that's still in the statute, um, but uh, that is that doesn't even have court discretion. That's it. And for those of us who are 70 or older, if you ask, you can be permanently excused from jury duty. And if you change your mind, you can say, I changed my mind, and I would like to be considered for jury duty, and then you can go back on the, um, uh, be eligible for jury service. A um, couple of housekeeping measures. Idaho Code 2-218 prohibits employers from penalizing employees who are summoned to jury duty. I know that we hear uh, from folks with concerns. I've been brought into jury duty here. I might lose my job. Well, you can't lose your job over being brought into jury duty. If an employer were to do that, they can be held in contempt of court and fine. And if they were actually to fire the person, then uh, the employee could recover treble damages plus attorney's fees for being fired. So there is a, a statutory protection. Yes? Um, does that, can you be forced to take vacation time to serve on a jury? Yes. Yes, your employer can can uh, tell you you have to take vacation time, or if, if you don't have vacation time, you have to take the time without pay. Uh, but they cannot fire you, or suspend you, or discipline you for that. Okay, challenges. Uh, this is the process where uh, attorneys for the parties can challenge the jurors, the prospective jurors who are before them. The first challenge is one to the panel. We don't see this very often. A challenge to the panel is really a challenge saying that the jury selection process, the selection of the master jury um, uh, pool, or some of that process, there was a material departure in how that was done. I don't believe I've ever seen a challenge to a panel. Have you, Ray? No. The ones I've ever heard of were in the South. Yeah. Can you all hear Ray? You're a lawyer. Speak up. Okay. The only ones I've ever heard of are primarily cases from the South many years ago when uh, blacks were uh, excluded from the jury list. So does that mean you're asking everyone at once? Is that when you say the panel? No. What we're doing here is the lawyer would be going to the judge and saying, Judge, this panel is not a fair cross-section of our community because blacks were excluded from the entire master panel. What's the panel? I don't know. The panel is the master jury panel that Henry Ann spoke about. The master jury pool. Okay, so it's, it's everyone that may be called. That's correct. Everyone who may be called as a juror in this particular case. So these don't happen very often. Um, more frequently, we will see challenges for cause, and in just a moment, what are called preemptory challenges. Challenges for cause first. Uh, if a person is convicted of a felony and they haven't had their rights restored, then an attorney can challenge them for uh, cause. If they lack any of the other legal qualifications, 
Uh, and you know, sometimes jurors, prospective jurors, aren't completely candid in answering their questionnaires. And if we find out different, um, then we can challenge uh, whether they are qualified to serve on the jury panel.